fill her up with a lot of information. We're with Dr. Lori Value. This with Dr. Lori. And what is this thing, Dr. Lori? Well, it kind of looks like it's a house for a whole lot of birds. <laughs> <laughs> it's been out here a long time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But this is wonderful. Um, you know, this these particular old gas pumps, really popular for a look from the 1940s. And then, you know, remember, if it's a relatively well-known business, company, you know, with a long history, then you're going to see more value. This one has more value, not so much for the rust and the rest of it, but for the integrity of it, all of its parts still here, but also right here in, of course, the sign, the enameled signs and attached here with uh, the flathead screws and the Phillips screws, really pretty nice. In terms of condition, it's poor. Okay, but again, some of these things can be brought back with the right restoration. Some of you will use chemicals to do that. Some of you will say, well, we've got to really get a professional in here to do that. Can you give, not maybe necessarily for this, but a type like this? Well, it what? depends on size. It depends right. on, you know, do you have one that's an SO? Do you have a Texaco? Do you have it? And then that starts to tell you about period, time period, and then value for where you are in the country. Because in certain parts of the country, you know, if you're in Roberts County, Texas, for example, relatively rural, guess what? They've got these. Yes. So you're not going to get top dollar. But if you're outside of New York, New York, or you're near Newark, guess what? You're going to pay a little bit more for one of these. Want to put a price? Oh, on... well, you could basically have a range of these relatively hundreds to thousands. Okay. All right. Yeah. Outdoor statuary, which is, this is kind of like a statue. But... Sure. <laughs> sure. But let's take, let's take a look at another one that we've seen in a lot of yards over a lot of years. And Dr. Laurie, the, the jockey, this has been in yards forever and maybe sometime in the way distant past, they actually held a horse in somebody's yard. T tell me about this and the value and what you're looking so for. So the idea was, of course, that you would tie up the horse to it right. as you came to someone's home in the 19th century. So what do you like about this? I think it's interesting. Why? Uh, uh, because I like horses. Okay, so it's a horse accessory. Yes, yes. Okay, so you have a connection to it for horses. It's cast concrete. Okay, so the form is actually cast. Now, it once had, of course, blackface, right? And it would have been a piece of black Americana. You can also see the other... The fact that it doesn't now, does that diminish its value? Yes. Okay. Because it's not pure what it was intended to be originally. Okay. Okay. Now, there were some that were also Caucasian faced, sure. Right. But basically what you have also is you can see the layers of the other paint. So it was once painted green. It was then painted in different colors where we had a red vest and they put in the eyes and they put in the buttons and all of this. But basically it also had wiring so you could actually have a light to it after the fact that they no longer had that particular area, that particular piece, so you could tie your horse to it. Okay. So then they made it functional for the 20th century, which was, let's make it light up. Right. Now, every time that we change the actual functionality of an object, you start to decrease value. In this condition, a couple hundred bucks. Okay. Okay. All right. In perfect condition, probably a little bit more. Tell me about metal signs. Okay. Worth it, not worth it if they're original. Can be worth it. Sometimes the enamel ones are very valuable, but do not believe when someone goes in and pays $20 for one of these signs and then charges $2,000 for it, that it's worth $2,000. It's worth what they paid for it. How do you know if an enamel sign in good condition is brand new or it's old? Okay, well, yeah, because you can make new enamel signs yeah. today. Some of the ways you can tell is basically by the structure of the actual sign. So let's look at some signs. Okay. Some are enamel, some are lithograph tin, right? Okay. So it's actually a picture on top of the tin. Like the Crown Royal Cola is from like the 1950s, 1960s. And if you think of newspaper, the funny pages, mm -hmm. it's the same bende dots that you'll oh, see okay. in the 50s and 60s used on lithograph tin. So that cola is basically, uh, it's really, it's kind of damaged. So it's probably worth about $75, maybe $125, somewhere in that range. Then you have the Pennzoil, which also has Ford logos on it. So so that becomes important. So that's somebody Pennzoil, you know, somebody's um, oil change and mechanic I like shop. The address on yeah, it. You can look that up. Yeah, we go New, New and, York. So a sign like that would be worth what? Oh, probably three hundred, four hundred dollars. And then, but people like the rust. People like the fact that it's aged. But these particular signs are not the most valuable enameled signs. So they're on a particular nice piece of metal, and they're enameled on top. The oils um, um, sign for. Example, those nice enameled signs. Those are 
more artwork, more art intensive too. The process is more intensive than just taking a piece of lithograph tin with a picture of the cola on it and slapping right. it onto a right. piece of tin. So there's where value is different. So an enameled sign could be $200, $300, whereas the lithograph pit tin sign of the same type, shape, and period is $75. Okay, and before we finish, the old clocks, like the Schmitz clock, are old clocks worth it like that? The electric clock? Beerana, right? Beerana, things that have to do with beer, right? right? People will collect their favorite brew. They'll also collect um, different lights that blink and, and neon lights kinds of things. Value on that could be somewhere around 150 bucks. Okay. All so right. if it's sitting in the, you know, in your old bar room from the 1950s or 60s, hey, you know, bring it on upstairs. Might the be worth something. The rumpus room. Isn't That's that right. The rumpus room. <laughs> We've got to keep it all in the same time period. That's all right. right. <laughs> uh, Dr. Laurie, thank you so much. Sure. Very interesting stuff. And people have interesting stuff in their yard, and sometimes it's valuable. Sometimes it's just valuable to you, but that's what's important. That's right. Okay, value this. Dr. Lori, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.